Headline kamakailan ng pag-aproba ng FIVA sa Expanded World Cup format sa taong 2026. Mula sa 32 teams, magiging 48 na magka-qualify para sa biggest football tournament sa mundo. May mga nagsasabi na lumaki tuloy ang chance ng ibang bansa tulad ng Philippine Ascals na umabante sa tournament. Pero meron din mga nadismaya dahil papangit daw ang quality of play sa World Cup dahil sa expanded format. Tatalakayin natin yan kasama ang Ascals player na si Misa Bahadoran at ang football analyst na si Bob Guerrero. Guys, good evening and welcome to good The Score. Uh, Bob, thank you, thank you for always being our uh, football expert here on SNA and for Misa for uh, braving the traffic and coming here. Belated happy birthday to <laughs> thank you, you, Misa. Thank you All right, Bob, uh, Misa, so many reactions from different people, different entities about this expansion from 32 teams magiging 48 na ang uh, lalahok sa FIFA World Cup on 2026. So I want to get your personal reaction to this expansion, Bob. Well, I like the uh, format as it is. I think I can live with it going to 48 teams. Um, it's not going to be that much of, of a big deal, especially when you get to the last 16. It's going to be exactly the same. I just worry that uh, there'll only be two, two guaranteed games instead of three. And uh, last 32 will already be single knockout. So baka may chance na magtapat yung dalawang malakas na team. Germany and Spain might meet each other in the round of 32, uh, which is uh, horrible, of course. Um, lagi naman binapinapalitan yung format. Uh, the World Cup used to have 16 teams, then it went to 24 teams, then it went to 32 teams, now it's going to 48. They're saying it might end up 64 teams one day. So uh, I can live with it. I don't think it's that big a deal. There are some issues with it, though. Yeah, that. Uh, with the three team groups, there are some issues that baka hindi na maging competitive yung second uh, game at hindi na sabay lalaroin yung last game. So there may, might be some engineering of results for both the teams to go through. And those issues, I will discuss with you yes. later, Bob. But first, Misa, as a player, what's your reaction to this? Do you think this gives the Philippine Ascals a bigger chance to make it to the World Cup now that 48 teams will be part of the field uh, come 2026? Uh, of course, um, from 32 to 48, it's gonna it's a big chance for a lot of countries, not only Philippines, uh, to go to World Cup experience playing World Cup. There's, uh, I'm sure there are a lot of countries haven't been to World Cup, but with this new rule, there will be new countries that they never played World Cup in their history, but they will start playing for the World Cup. Then there will be big chance, and they give. I think this gives motivation to countries like Southeast Asia countries to work harder to get closer as possible and do more friendly games and their ranking goes down beat this kind of thing but there's advantage and disadvantage as already bob already mentioned so that's why people are started to kind of yeah. you know like say yeah it's not good some people they say it's good so i think our side is good but so other like countries that they play football that's why they might meet each other early stage and they go knock out and then the other team is not really that strong will meet until goes up. That's why there's maybe disadvantages and advantages. All right. Well, Bob, you mentioned it already earlier. Chances of two powerhouse teams facing off right away in the round of 32. Aside from that, what are the other negative things brought about by this expansion? Yeah, well, you're going to have uh, groups of three. So Team A will meet Team B. And then Team B will meet Team C. So tapos na yung Team B. They only have like one point or zero points, salimbawa. Maglalaban naman yung Team A, yung Team C, sa last game, halos uh, alam, alam na nila na pareha silang pasok. So there will be less reason to play hard. They can even work it out that they get a draw and both of them go through and Team B doesn't go through. That's, that's, that's one of the dangers. Um, kaya sabay nilalaro yung last game sa group stage sa, sa FIFA World Cup to, precisely to avoid that. Ngayon, baka hindi maiwasan. They also say, baka bumaba yung level ng, ng football. But to be honest, national teams tend to not play as well as the club teams. Because the club teams, they're playing together the whole year. Yeah. National teams, they just get together. The quality isn't always like technically the best, but it's, it's, it's about national pride. It's about, you know, it's, it's about um, cheering for your country. So... I, I'm okay with it, it and it helps the, Fil it helps the Philippines uh, because there will be more slots, presumably. It was unanimously voted, by the way, by all the FIFA member associations. Not a single one voted against it. 
Now, uh, the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, was saying that the reason why they made this move was to make football more global, to open the doors to other nations aside from the ones in Europe and the ones in South America. Misa, where do you think football is at in terms of the competitiveness from countries outside of Europe and South America? Um, I think there's uh, so much different. It's not, you know, it's as what Ma Bob again mentioned already that it's like it's all about national teams. Like they want to really want to go to, to everybody will have to, to go through this World Cup thing. So for me, I think there is kind of, it's kind of difficult for countries that are strong already to play and against each other early stage. But for Philippines, of course, or other countries who are like not that yet football is this the football is not uh, developed that much it's kind of be easy for them to you know there is a good motivation for them to join this world cup now bob aside from yun nga lalaki yung chance ng pilipinas na makapasok sa world cup ano pa yung nakikita mga mga advantages nitong expansion na to well it's going to make it um, more exciting especially during the qualifying right now the chances of the philippines we we can no longer qualify for the 2018 world cup we still have to try and qualify for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar and uh, we're probably going to go through the same process we did now. If, um, if we have a better chance of making it after 2022, because of there, there will be more slots, there will be more excitement in the qualifying stage. So um, it's good for us, for the Philippines, at least in the, in the short term. Although, Kahit dadagdagan yung mga slots na ibibigay sa AFC, I think mahihirapan pa rin tayo makapasok. It's gonna be very, very tough. And this guy will be, what, 39 years old? <laughs> or 38 years old? So you gotta keep, keep fit, huh? Yeah, I have to. You gotta eat right. We will need you for 2026. <laughs> In addition to that, Bob, sabi mo nga, Misa has to stay fit. Bakit, bakit ganun to kaaga? Well, why, why is the gap that long for the change? I think uh, you, you'll, you'll have to ask FIFA. I guess they've all... They've set things in motion already for the 2018 and 2022 World Cup. And uh, maybe they cannot change it just yet. But the uh, 2026 World Cup, it will take the same number of days, 32 days. You will still need only 12 venues. So, uh, but yeah, I guess they couldn't do it earlier. So, which I think is fine. Uh, Misa, just looking ahead, right now the Philippines is ranked 100. 22 in the world. Uh, the highest ranking of the Philippines ever was 115. Tama ba, Bob? 15, 117. It's not really that important so, to me. But <laughs> so what do you think, Misa? Um, by the time 2026 comes, where do you think the Philippines will be at in terms of world rankings? Any wild guess? Um, I think it's gonna, if Philippines continue the way t they are doing that, like making this national league, now, for the first time, we are representing AFC Champions League and then AFC Cup. We, they, FIFA is giving us more slot in this kind of tournament. We didn't have this few, like last year for it. So that means football is getting better and better in the Philippines in a few years, like five years already. So we have 10 years to be joining this World Cup that there is mo so much slot. So I think uh, we will be under 100, <laughs> but okay. we will... If they, we will work hard and then we develop, we put more grassroots, we might get close to World Cup stage. Yeah, I, th right. I think definitely to be under 100 would be a fantastic achievement. To be in the 90s would be ter terrific. All right, well, that's something to look forward to. Now, Bob, you said you're okay with the expansion. Misa, you said it's good for the Philippines. Now, I want to get the latest about the Philippine Asgals from, from you guys. Any upcoming tournaments that we should look forward to this 2017? March 28th, save the date, we have an AFC Asian Cup qualifier. Hindi pa natin alam kung sino mga We will know that on January 23rd. That is the draw for the AFC Asian Cup. We're going to have 10, I believe, 10 games five home and five away um, five home and five away from March 28 up until early 2018 and five home and five away and um, hopefully uh, we can we can support the team so and hopefully we get a good draw because we always get bad draws yeah right? <laughs> of course always in the bad <laughs> group dead stage yeah group of death yeah anything to add to that Misa I'm just no. I just want uh, people to come and support us because without their support, we can go anywhere so far. So all I, we need is just 
support from everyone, especially the fans, and then come and watch our game, support us, and that's enough for us. When you guys cheer, we will play harder and we bring the ranking down. All right, well, best of luck. I hope your prediction comes through that the Philippines one day goes down to <laughs> below 100. Thank you very much, Misa. Thank you so and Bob, uh, see you soon for UAP football Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Starting by February 9, I think. Uh, UAP football right here on SNA. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi, guys. Keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates. And don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.